Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look at environment variables and how to use environment variables to define the data sources at the runtime. So when I say define the data source at runtime, that means I am going to create one Power Canvas app and that app would going to bind my data source using that environment variable. So if the data source in my dev environment is one SharePoint site and list and in production environment is totally different then it will be read from that environment variable rather than like specifying some hard-coded value to the data source so that we are going to take a look today so I'm directly jumping to make.powerapps.com on in the power maker studio and I'll just go to the solutions and in solution I'm going to create a new solution and in this solution only I will be having my power canvas app created so I'll just name this solution as demo solution and publisher I'll just pick the default publisher and under more option I'll just not do anything I'll just create it and it takes a couple of seconds to create it okay so this is my demo solution now as I said I am going to use the environment variables to define my values at the runtime so I'll just go to the add existing and from the more I'll just choose the environment variable and now I'm going to create one new variable. So these are my existing environment variables. You can create as well as one uh, new one. So I'll just, uh, let, let me just create a new one rather than using the existing one. I'll just create an environment variable and I'll just name that as demo solution or demo app environment variable demo app site name. So because I am going to bind this to my power canvas app and the data source should be of SharePoint so I'll just save uh, name that as demo app site name and in the data type I'll be choosing that there are a number of uh, data types I can choose from but as I said I'll be deciding at the runtime that what SharePoint site it uh, my power app should connect to so that's why I'm choosing the data type of data source and under this I'll choose the connector as SharePoint so only one connector as of now it's available so probably we are expecting more connectors in future so right now I can just do that with a SharePoint as our data source and in this I have this connector applied connection applied with my account and I can also use this parameter type so this variable is of which type I can specify as site initially then later on I have to create one another variable for my list and in the new current site value I can simply say new site value it will give me a drop down of all my sites so I can just pick my site let's say I have just picked up this site and I can also allow to show uh, set the default value but uh, right now I will not do that I'll just save it so this environment variable will be created with the name of demo app site name and the same thing we are going to do for a new environment variable that is for a list so I'll just say demo app this name and data type again I choose data source and the SharePoint as connector and in parameter type it's type of list actually there are two steps so first of all I have to select the site name and then later on the list name from that site so that's why we are creating these two variables so I can just select my this site and this list will be connected to which site so this should be connected to my demo app site name the variable which we just created so I'll just save this and now I'll just uh, choose the current list name so current list and this list are coming from that demo app site name variable so the, con the context which we set in the previous variable so I can just pick one of my list that's let's say invoice list and I'll just save so this second variable is created as demo app list name so now I'm good by after creating these two variables now I can directly go to my apps so before that I'll just publish all my customizations to make sure that these are available to the other pieces of my solution so I'll just publish all customizations it may take 30 to 1 minute of time so let's wait for that all right so my customizations are published now I can go to the apps and under app I'll be creating a new canvas app and I just pick that format as tablet so let's say demo app one so the name is already used so let's say demo solution app one and I'll just click on create 
so it uh, would redirect me to the power app studio and now over here you can see like i have that usual uh, designer where i can create this app and from this data source icon says this cylindrical icon i can just add the data source so from here if i just pick type in my sharepoint as data source and pick this one and click on this uh, sharepoint as data source it will give me a panel on the right hand side where i can just pick my sites to pick from so right now it's just showing recent sites there is no advanced button over here because we have to turn on one of the setting on the apps before doing that so i have to go to this file tab and under this setting i need to scroll down to find this setting automatically create environment variables when adding data sources so when I, as soon as i turn this on and save my app then i'll start getting this advanced tab under my data sources connections so i'll just close this and save this app once and then we will reopen this app so it's saving i just want to make sure that my settings gets applied to this app that's why we are just saving and close it once again then reopen that from the solution all right so i can just go back and i'll just go back again and leave this app so that i can just land up to my solutions and do a hard refresh i'll just open my app once again so i'll just now i'll again go to my this connection data source add data again search for sharepoint click stick this sharepoint data source pick any of the connection which you have already created now you can see you have started getting this advanced option in this advanced option i have these two variables so the way this is the variable which we created recently so i'll just use this variable as data source and as soon as i clicked on it so it opened me the list of values so now again the list we are not going to choose it uh, from here because that would hard code it we again go to the advanced and we can just pick the list from here so this actually this setting will allow so whatever variable uh, environment variable we are going to set for this environment the data source will read that value instead of any hard coded data source values so i say click connect and it has started giving me this so i can just simply drag one gallery control and this gallery control i am going to bind this to my this demo app list name which is a dynamic data source name and it will start showing me up this dynamic list over here so now in this way i have not hard coded any of the data source setting but read this environment variable uh which is binded to my environment to my solution so that's how like i did that i'll just save simply save it and if i wish to move this solution to a new environment i would simply move the environment and again like create uh have those variables moved along with them so i i'll just go back to my solution i can just show you that i'll just say save and go to my solution so if i just move all this my solution in one uh, different environment altogether i can simply go to my variables and change this variables added this variable i'll just set up a new uh, connection over here the new list uh, altogether the new site altogether for a new environment and i'll be just done i need not to do any changes in my power app so it will automatically start reading uh, the site uh, value or the site name from this variable and the list name as well as the site name so both would be dynamic so this is how you can build your solution this is how you can just pick the dynamic data sources rather than provided hard coded values so i hope uh, you got the two concept over here how you can create the environment variables which can be read into your power canvas app or any app and how to specify the data sources with these dynamic environment variables so i hope these are clear now if you still have any question please feel free to drop your comment and like video if you like it and subscribe to my channel thank you that's it for today